Hey y'all, my name is Morgan and my minor is sports communications. Um, the long-term goal is to analyze football. Um, so yeah, we're gonna learn a little bit about it today. Uh, my name is J.D. Strawbridge, former Auburn University football player and fiance of Morgan. Um, I used to be a punter, but I won't be running back and receiver today. Hi, my name is David. I'm a friend of Morgan and J.D. and I'm gonna be playing quarterback today. So the purpose of this video is to basically just go over some of the more common um, pass plays and run plays in the game of football. Um, because how can you analyze sports if you don't know the game? The first play is called ISO. QB hands the ball off to the running back who runs straight up the middle. Next we'll run encounter where the running back takes a step towards the quarterback, then cuts back and runs between the guard and the tackle while the guard from the other side blocks for him. Receiver is out wide on the jet sweep. He runs behind the line to get the ball and cuts up the field on the outside of the tackle. The tall sweep, the running back receives the ball on a pitch and runs around the edge. Post play is where the receiver runs out 10 yards and cuts in at a 45 degree angle. Dig is similar except for the receiver cuts in at a 90 degree angle back across the field. While running slant, the receiver goes about two steps and then cuts in at a 45 degree angle. So every good offense has a trick play because you never know when you're gonna need it. On a double pass trick play, the quarterback pitches it to the running back who then takes off downfield assuming the role of receiver and the running back throws the ball to him. I should have known that if I came out here with these two that it would turn into them goofing off. I could kick for Alabama. Hi, my name is David. I'm a... Oh, I had hands. Y'all think Malzahn's gonna start y'all? <laughs> 